I've been pulling for more nigga, more nigga, I'm just trying to get up nigga, up nigga, tell me why you wanna talk nigga, talk nigga, are you trying to make me more nigga, more nigga, I've been plotting for more nigga, more nigga, I'm just trying to get up. Dang <sighs> members, how the fuck? If you ain't gonna make you walk in me, back to channel the goddamn video man, hey look. Gang members, man. I look, man. Look, man. Look, man. But I was in time, man. You guys can already tell from the title. I was looking about like like stuff about judges, just trying to understand more about judges. And I seen some pretty interesting videos that I feel like we should check out together. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna start today with Georgia. Interesting facts about Georgia. That's a very weird name to name a video, but okay, that's what the video is titled. It was posted on Cool Visions channel. I'm gonna go ahead and tag them in the description. So if you wanna go check out the channel and check out more stuff on your own time, feel free to do it but right now you're on king damien's time <laughs> make sure you subscribe man please subscribe like turn the post notifications and all that sexy stuff you know what i'm saying but hey let's go ahead and check it out man interesting facts about judges that's what it's talking about i want to learn some things about judges today go brag to, to my hey guys in this online. video we're going to talk about georgia girl from the Black Sea to the Caucasus Mountains, the country of Georgia black is packed. Sea? Was that a Black Sea? From the Black oh, Sea to blue. the Caucasus Mountains, the country of Georgia is packed with stunning landscapes, intriguing cities, and centuries of history. And now it is becoming a tourist destination. Oh, it's a tourist Today, the destination. Population of the country I didn't know it was like a tourist. Like That's a lot of people. That's pretty good. To fully appreciate what Georgia was able to achieve. Since it became like independent, Nigeria, you gotta know what it was like, like just 20 years ago. And back then, the average salary was about $50 a month. Crime was rampant, and in some areas... Did he just say the average salary was $50 a month? What would I buy you? Electricity was available just two hours per day. Then, in 2003, two came the Rose Revolution, and the opposition party of Mikhail Saakashvili came to power, and that was the beginning of the new Georgia. Upon arrival, first thing is going to surprise ago. you is the road infrastructure. They built modern highways connecting major cities. The highway system doesn't cover all the cities yet, but they're getting there. Along mm. the roads you see modern rest areas with restaurants and even wind turbines. Wendy's? Wendy's Dunkin' Donuts? Whoa, that's sick! Second thing that's going to surprise you is the police. If you're familiar with ex-USSR countries, you know that bribes and corruption are ubiquitous. And Georgia was no exception until they did a police reform and the public trust and the law enforcement skyrocketed to 87% from just 5%. Mm. The old police staff were let go and the new police officers were recruited. Today, they can even speak English, which is helpful. Third really is good. the lack of bureaucracy. Actually, Georgia is now the sixth country in the world in ease of doing business rankings. Even ahead of the US, Britain and Norway. Wow. Paperwork wow. has been reduced to a minimum and selling your apartment is going to take less than one hour. Wow. Fourth, they put a lot of effort into the development of international tourism. Just 15 years ago, hardly anybody knew about places like Kaheri and Svaneri, but it's all changed now. Svaneri. Let's take a look at some exciting parts of Georgia. Svaneri. You gotta if you visit. love wine, then you're gonna love this eastern region of Georgia, known as Kaheri. It's rich in history, and there are many beautiful churches and castles. So we went to the east of Tbilisi, and this region is famous for its winemaking. As you can see, all these vineyards. Let me show you this castle that we wow. came to see. Is, was that a slave trade? Or what was, Haiti, what's the castle about? The Alazani Valley is the biggest wine region of Georgia, and it's considered the cradle of wine. People just ride around in uh, four wheelers like that. That's pretty sick. There are hundreds of small and large wineries. Almost anywhere you go, you'll be invited to taste a glass of wine. wine the town of wine Sinai, cheese. located on a steep hill, overlooks the vast Elizani Valley, and it's famous for its picturesque landscapes and narrow cobblestone streets. 
landscape. Well, that lady just wearing a boxers. What is what did the shirt say? And it's famous for its picturesque like landscape man. and what? narrow cobblestone streets. I didn't know Georgia was a tourism like uh, trip, like attracted a lot of tourists. Hmm. If you love dope. mountains, you gotta visit this other destination, Kisbegi. The road from the Kisbegi. capital city of Tbilisi to Kisbegi is Tbilisi. known as the Georgian Military Road, and it's very picturesque. You'll be passing Jinvali Water Reservoir. Jin. The dam was so built in 1986, Jin. creating Z a beautiful Jin. artificial Jin lake Valley. with a perfect blue surface. Ananuri Castle. An old fortress that was constructed in the 18th century, it might be one of the most beautiful churches in Georgia. Here, oh, surprisingly, wow. we met beautiful. some Chinese newlyweds, and not only Chinese for that matter. There are two rivers wow. flowing along the Georgian military road, in Georgia. black and white Arakvi rivers. Wow, that is sick! River, Georgian military Babe, road, look at this shit. Black and white Arakvi rivers. It's black the and white. Of these rivers is at a place called Panauri. Those are, those are rivers that like meet at a point that that's a black that's black water and white water. Is it like I'm trying to under, let me let me get the explanation? That's crazy though. Shush. There are two rivers flowing along the Georgian military road, black and white Arakvi rivers. The confluence of these rivers is at a place called Panauri. Really beautiful and unique. Oh, I want to see that. As you move further, you're gonna end up in Gudauri. It's the most famous Georgian ski resort. The ski season here lasts from December to April. Heli skiing is also available. I don't know how to ski and though. Did I, mention I would like to learn. Paragliding and tubing? Gudauri has more than 64 kilometers of ski runs and 15 lifts. Is this the only place that just snows? Or like there's just a lot of snow here? Unfortunately, oh, sometimes tourism trash. development has its downsides. Next stop is the Soviet Georgian Friendship Memorial. Soviet Built in the Georgia. 1980s, this unique semicircular stone structure is located in a very scenic place surrounded by dramatic peaks. You can rent ATVs to explore the area. Oh, the views are mind blowing, cool. but in May, it's still pretty chilly to be honest. <laughs> and finally, in at May? the end of the Georgian military road, Kazbek, one of the major mountains of the Caucasus, with an elevation of 5,000 meters. Mount Kisbek is in fact a potentially active volcano. I heard there's a lot of Indians here in Georgia is the too. Why is that? Church. The road to this church is pretty scary. Some stretches of the road are falling down. Oh. Literally, its location is what makes it so special. It is perched 2,200 meters high on a mountain, overlooking the small town of Stepansminda, surrounded That'd by snowy peaks on all sides. Too. What are the things to do in this area? Well, you can try hiking to the glacier, rafting and horseback riding. By the way, Russia is just 10 kilometers from here. What? Do you like parks and mineral Is this still springs? allowed? Like, what, wait, well, when was I... this video released? 2020, oh, 2019. I know there's been like a bunch of talk about like Russia invading Georgia lately. Like, is this still a thing? Like, today? You gotta go to Burjami. Burjami uh, is a resort town. Oh, also, I, I watched this video that said in Georgia there's a lot of PDA. Like, you guys just stand like, in public and just kiss each other everywhere. <laughs> that was funny. Georgia. It's known for its <laughs> mineral water springs in Burjami Central Park. Nearby, trails wind through the vast wilderness of the park. We actually rented a 4x4 vehicle to take us to the springs as we didn't want to walk too far. <laughs> this is off-road, baby. <laughs> Some really beautiful <coughs> hotel buildings here. <coughs> Nature, everything, the weather is perfect. Imagine, it's a nice imagine place living to visit in a hotel, staying in a hotel right in the valley. That's pretty sick. And finally, the most exciting and remote destination, the region of Svaneri. This region is in the northwest of the country, and it's so remote and difficult to get to that road conditions can sometimes make it inaccessible, and actually it wasn't reachable by car until 1935. The main city of the region is Mestia. This place is dotted with defensive stone structures built from the 9th century to the 14th century. They were once protecting the villagers from invaders. 
That's pretty dope. Svaneti is an ancient land and is the home of the Svans. This unique culture survived for thousands of years because of its remoteness. These locals still plow their fields by hand they're, and livestock they know, they know they freely roam the streets. Stuff now, right? The Svan language is actually one thousand like, years older Is it hard to get product Georgia. down there or something? Or they just don't want it? In they the winter time, there's a ski resort around? here. And in the summertime, you can use the chairlift to take that's, you off the mountain and enjoy the scenery. Hey, in the evening, you can go I to one like of the I'm local the cafes and enjoy traditional music and dances. Today this place gets tourists from all over, hey. rainy and peaceful, but that's what Mestia is all about. Peace. Now let's take a look at different cities of Georgia. Gori is a city in eastern Georgia with a population of 48,000 people. Medieval structure sitting above the Gori Fortress is a medieval structure Ow. sitting above the city Gori on Fortress. a rocky I just hill. My hand. This fortress first appears in the 13th century records. This is the city of Gori, and you can see a football stadium in the distance, and Where's the football that stadium? round building is a police station. Oh wow! There How the police station? Where's the football round stadium? Building is a police station. Oh, he should have put a, a map or something. I didn't see the football of stadium. Joseph Stalin, the leader of Soviet Union, who was born here, and Virgin Mary Cathedral, built in 1810. A place to hit as a rock-hewn city located oh, just 10 kilometers here. east of Gori. There are about 700 caves here. Aplitsike and the surrounding archaeological monuments date back to the early Bronze Age. Hmm. Lots of lizards in the area, like this one. Next city, hmm. Kutaisi, is the third most populous Kutaisi. city in Georgia. They call it the city of May and Roses. And hmm. in fact, I've really? seen a lot of roses gangsters. in front of people's houses. The city is located on the Riani River. It's the capital of the western region of Georgia, called Emereti. From 2012 to 2018, Kutaisi was briefly the seat of the Parliament of Georgia. As an effort to decentralize the Georgian government, the city enjoys a humid subtropical climate and there's okay. palm trees everywhere. Some of the main tourist attractions are Colchis Fountain on the Central Square, Oh, that's a pretty the fountain. cathedral that was built in the 11th century. It's sitting on a hill, and people come here to enjoy the views of the city. And while we're people here, don't go to let's listen there? to the local musicians. The two guys that were full ain't doing nothing, but three of them. One just got a sword, actually. Why oh, this all swords? Wow, those are all swords. I thought I was a flute. <laughs> the resort city of Batumi. This is a Black Sea resort and a port city. This coastal city has undergone an extreme facelift, which makes it the perfect example of Georgia's transformation under Mikhail Sergeyevich. That's an accident waiting to happen Much right there. Much of Batumi's economy revolves around tourism and gambling. Tourists are flocking to Batumi, and casinos are sprouting like mushrooms, Batumi. drawing an estimated oh, wow. 400,000 visitors a year. Mainly from Turkey. That's where Kirami showed his video. It actually takes 15 minutes to drive to the Turkish border from here. The old town district is lined with renovated 19th century buildings. Georgia is Europe definitely Square, a landlocked with some interesting the country. God, definitely in the Square, in the middle of some shit. If you understand what I mean. The best thing about Batumi is oh, its 10 yeah, this is where Batumi I would like to leave. Boulevard. It is absolutely I can definitely live in Batumi. Come here to watch stunning sunsets. Oh, yeah, definitely live in Batumi. There are amazing sculptures and lots of activity at all times of the day. Did you know that Donald Trump was going to build a hotel in Batumi? But he had to back out when he decided to run for president. Some of the things to see in Batumi. He's still by the way. Fortress, what? Ali and Nino statue. Batumi Botanical Garden. Who's Ali and Chacha Nino? Clock Tower. And dancing fountains. And finally, the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi, with a okay. population of over 1 million people. Damn. This ancient and That's vibrant like city spreads already. out on both banks of the Mtkwari River. What's the main sites of the city like are clustered in the water. old city, 
This area is well known for its sulfur bath houses, fed by natural hot springs. To enjoy the city view from above, take one of the modern cable cars straight up to the 4th century Narikala Fortress, which looms over the city and is guarded by Mother of Georgia monument. Lots of modern architecture too. Bridge of Peace, House of Justice, Reich Park. And if you want to get away from the sun on a hot summer day, you might want to go to National Botanic Garden of Georgia. Hmm. Holy Trinity Cathedral can be seen from most parts Georgia of the city. Got a lot of stuff, Another man. interesting spot is the Metehi Church and the statue of King Vartan Gorgasali. The busiest and Damn. most popular street in the city this is, is Rustavelli Avenue. Fuck? It begins at Freedom Square and extends for about two kilometers. Strolling down Rustavelli Avenue, you can observe daily life of the city, listen to the street musicians, and have a fresh squeezed juice. I like fresh juice. In the local National Museum, they also have a museum of Soviet occupation. And at the same time, they have a Stalin museum in the city of Gori. So it's interesting how they have the two museums peacefully coexisting in one country. Agmashina Belly is another street you gotta visit. It has some gorgeous historic buildings Even and the, distinctive the, architecture, the had numbers, as well as some great like restaurants and cafes. Lots of interesting places outside of the city too. Are they getting married right 6th there? 6th century monastery, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mitzheta, the oldest city in Georgia. The Black Sea is very far from Tbilisi, but they have a Tbilisi Sea instead. It's actually a large water reservoir. <laughs> so is that What about sea? the Georgian cuisine? Do you love meat? Do you love spicy food? Then you're gonna enjoy Georgian cuisine. Say no Every more. region of Georgia has Say its own no kind more. of cuisine. Oh, King that looks so is one good. of the most famous Georgian dishes. It's King basically Kali. juicy dumplings, and the proper way to eat them is you hold the crown, which you don't eat with your right hand, then you slowly and carefully bite a small hole in the kinkali and drink the delicious juice inside, and then you eat the rest. Hachapuri is a huh. traditional Georgian dish of cheese-filled bread. The most popular variation, a jarian, has an open bowed shape, and it's topped with, with a raw egg. Church Hella is a traditional Georgian candle-shaped candy. Nuts and sometimes raisins are threaded onto a string, then dipped into thickened grape juice oh, and then wow. dried in the shape of a sausage. There is a good choice of drinks like lemonades and of course wines. There are wine shops on every corner. Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world. But what about this the people? Is just so inviting. Well, Georgians are famous for their hospitality. Yeah, I had young Georgians Georgians smile a lot. Very different from the older generation. Young Georgians, especially in big cities, speak good English. And the older generation speaks Russian. And they remember the that's times of the Soviet Union. That's and some of them are still very nostalgic about it. I was once invited to the table with Georgians. And it was a great experience. Lots of delicious food, lawn toasts, and songs. The signs in the streets now reflect the gradual change from Russian language to English. English if you yeah. see community center in a small Georgian town, wow, that sounds so American. Literally, The United literally States does. is actively assisting Georgia in strengthening its state institutions and has provided the country with financial assistance in excess of $3 billion since 1991. And Georgians seem to appreciate that a lot. They have good roads too. People, very nice people. Hey! Hello America! Hello America! Come and give me money! Salaries are still pretty low. I love it. The official love figure it. is about $350 a month, but the real number wait, is wait, wait, pretty wait. low. America! I want to hear what he said. Salaries are still pretty low. Salaries. The official figure is about $350 a month, but the real number is even lower. It's about anywhere from $110 to $180 a month. You guys are making $180 a month? A salary? That's the average salary of $180? That's, that's, that's definitely fun. not a lot, but it's a big step forward from $50 a yeah, month. Yeah, it is a big step have. from $50. Georgia is one of the ago. few ex USSR countries that took their destiny McDonald's. in their own hands and now trying to establish themselves on the world tourist map and build a competitive economy.
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I flipping did. I definitely enjoyed it. Let me left watch it to the end. Let me show you this as well. It was a flu! That was definitely a flu. I thought it was a sword. But the roads are definitely cleaning. I love the roads. In Nigeria, the roads are so bad. Do good video, good video. What's his name again? Cool Vision. Good video. Cool video, cool vision. <laughs> Hey man, if you guys enjoyed that video, go in the comments and tell me some more videos to check out. Go on my Instagram, DM me, follow me, you know what I'm saying? Tell me some videos like this to check out. Tight, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Tight, I love you. Please. <laughs>